G'day folks, um, today's vlog, I've had heaps of requests to do this, so it's um, a Patong walk around, see what Patong's like now. So we're going to show you the beach road, Ratyuthit road, which is the main drag one back from the uh, beach, and Bungla road. So I start on um, beach road. Just off to our right is the Holiday Inn Resort Hotel. Now the reason I'm telling you about this is I think that the restaurant there, Sam's Bistro and Grill, is probably one of the best restaurants in, in Phuket. It's a great restaurant and the food is excellent. It's the best feed I've had since I've been here. Next up, Oggy's Beach Snack and Thai Food, a great place for lunch, we often eat there. And then there's this, the Chino Market, really popular in the afternoons. Carts pack it out and there's a lot of street food and um, good variety of food, everything from burgers to ribs to authentic Thai food. There's bars, you can even get pizza and beer. Um, there's even a, a pharmacy they've just built, so great place to um, go in the afternoons if you want to sort of get a bit of the Thai culture. Back to Rat Youthit Road, there's plenty of restaurants and hotels and there's plenty of massage girls here for all kinds of massages, even the alternate ones if you know what I'm talking about. Tuk Tuk's will take you everywhere, there's little bars and stuff and um, shops everywhere. restaurant resort great place to eat breakfast I don't know what it's like to stay but um, it's in a great location and uh, breakfast is really really good so I'd recommend that for breakfast Next one, Hearn Coffee and Bistro is a great place. Um, I've had lunch and breakfast there. It's big inside. There's a couple of different levels. I think it's joint to one of the hotels. But fantastic food and it's absolutely beautiful inside. Highly recommend it. <music>
Okay, back to Rat You Thit Road. You can see there's plenty of girls waiting to give you a massage and all kinds of other things. Just watch out. There are a lot of lady boys. I believe they give good massages, but um, other things you might get the shock of your life, so just watch out. Meanwhile, back at the beach, things are a little bit busier than uh, Rat Youth Hit Road. Rat Youth Hit Road's very quiet. Um, it does get busy at night, but um, until then it's pretty quiet generally. There's not a, a lot of tourists here at the moment. But um, this is the walk. We're probably about 100 or 200 metres away from Bungla Road, and the closer we get, the busier it gets. As you can see, there's plenty of travel and tour guide shops um, on the strip. But I'd really highly recommend um, the one on the corner of Bungalow Road. It's the first shop on the left as you enter Bungalow Road from the beach side. A lady there named Hong runs it and she does outstanding deals on travel and tourist stuff. Stay around to the end of this one folks, we go to the Aussie bar and we go there for a drink to cool down after wandering around in the hot sun and um, we emerge three hours later. I don't have to tell you anymore I don't think, you'll work it out. Back to Rat Road and um, you can see that's central um, plaza there, it's still closed. They have markets and stuff out the front but the actual centre is still closed. And on the right you can see the big C sign up the top, that's Jung Salong Shopping Centre. Where they have the movies and all that kind of stuff, that's still closed as well. The big C out the back's open and McDonald's out the back's open. But they have markets as well. And um, but most of the shops in there are shut. There's probably about 10 shops in the whole place that are open. So it's still basically shut.
the Bungalow Road folks, I'll take you for a bit of a tour through here, make a few comments and show you the places I like. Bars on the right are really popular with um, tourists and Aussies, and um, yeah, they're all pretty good bars. This kangaroo bar has a lot of girls work there. I think there's about 40 girls work there, so it's absolutely huge. Stacks of people. Bar and the Rockstar Bar, very popular, plenty of girls in both, a good time to be had in both bars. Bar to our right have live music every night, live bands. So this next one coming up, the what's it called, the Opt Optimum Club, or New York. It's um, it has live bands every night, and the music's really good, and um, the place gets going. And right down the end, the last one on the right is called Red Hot. Um, they have live bands as well, and um, good place to go. Soy Dragon, stacks of bars down both sides of this place, um, the one at the front gets pumping, there's a lot of girls there, good bar, and this next one is Richie's Bar, um, this is a good bar, it opens early but the girls don't get there till later on, about 6 or 7 o'clock, but it's a good good bar, friendly girls, a lot of girls dancing, good, good place, cheap beers, 79 baht beers. Okay, Pink Paradise, another good bar, uh, beers are 80 baht I think, a good bar. This next uh, corridor, or Soy. Don't know what it's called, but um, down the back they have ladyboy shows and there's always heaps of ladyboys and stuff and they're an absolute crack up, so it's really worth going and having a look. 
Okay, next one, Bar Funk. This is a huge place. Lots of people get there. They have dancing girls on the bar and um, a lot of people hang out there. So I haven't been there, but it's really good. Ruby. Next one is a go-go bar. So they have go-go girls, so I won't get into that. And next up, we have the Aussie bar. Probably the most popular Aussie bar in um, Patong. Great place, great food, great atmosphere, and stacks of people come here. I just want to say a big shout out to all my subscribers. I should hit 2,000 subscribers tomorrow, and the 20,000 followers are regular uh, followers that follow me as well. That's awesome. Um, for those regulars that watch my channel on a regular basis, if you could subscribe, that'd be fantastic. It doesn't cost you anything. If you just hit the like, um, the notification bell, and um, drop a comment in the comments, that'd be fantastic. You'd be doing me a huge favor. Thanks. Some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna work. 